Hey guys! Well, Arcade USA finally passed 6,000 subscribers. It's a slow growing channel, but at least it's making headway. As part of the 6,000 subscriber giveaway, I should have done this back at the 5,000 subscriber level, but I forgot to. We're going to be giving away the Pac Man Portable. From who made this? My Arcade. My Arcade Retro Pac Man Portable. It's, it's kind of okay. It, it plays a good game of Pac-Man. The sounds a little tinny, but some people don't mind. I don't mind it either. I just It's a good thing to play around with. But I thought I'd make a good giveaway, because I don't plan on keeping this thing. So I had 18 people, or 17 people. I think I had 17 people do the entry for this thing. So I got a few stories I want to read here really quick. Then we'll spin the wheel and uh, see who wins this little bad boy. So... Start off here. We have Mr. Mike Odom. I remember playing Pac-Man on the Atari with my dad. Those were the days. Yeah, the old 2600 version of Pac-Man. I like playing that one. I know it's not that great, but it's, it's okay. Mr. Michael Skaliski writes, The first Pac-Man cab I ever saw at nine years old was the Cabaret Cabinet. Yes, I like the Pac-Man Cabaret Cabinet. It's nice and small and compact. It does take up a lot of room. It is it is a nice little cabinet. But of course, I still love the classic Pac-Man, the full-size one. Mr. Jonathan Barnhart, he writes, I just remember how big this craze was. I remember locally, if there was an arcade game set up someplace, it was likely Pac-Man. If there was more than one, Pac-Man was probably there. And then there was the cartoon and all the toy game and Merch tie-ins. It was huge, yes. Pac-Man Mania struck with both barrels. Tons of Pac-Man paraphernalia out there in the early 80s. So much stuff. Still a very popular game. We had wind-up toys. We had a board and a card game based on it. Eventually we had the Sears Video Arcade 2 for Christmas. And it came with some of the games that year. And you guessed it. There was Pac-Man. <laughs> yeah. Ryan Illingsworth, who does the high score list uh, competitions for the Atari 2600 over on Atari Age, he writes, My memory is going to Pizza Hut and getting to play a few rounds of Pac-Man as well as Duck Kong Jr. while waiting for our pizza. Yeah, I would typically see a Pac-Man in a pizza joint growing up. It was a very common machine. What else have we got here? We have Mr. Lewis Nichols. My daughter plays Pac-Man more than me, and she's only 12 years old. I dumped two dollars into the game and it still wouldn't work. Kept eating my quarters, so I stopped. Two dollars lost, and I could have used it on Galaga. <laughs> yes, you could have used it on Galaga. I love Galaga. Tyrone Shoelaces writes, I remember Jim from Taxi getting his paycheck and quarters because Louie had a Pac-Man machine put in the garage. That's right, I forgot about that. Oh, that's awesome. Brian Jellison writes, The 7-Eleven near my house had a small arcade in it back in the day. And one of the four arcade games in there was Pac-Man. Used to play it every day after school. That's a good thing to look forward to after school. I, I, I wouldn't mind that. I used to go to the arcade quite a bit after school myself. There was like three or four arcades in my hometown. I mean, they popped up like popcorn all over the place back in the 80s. I miss oh, classic arcades. We have Mr. David Pumpadick. He writes, I remember playing the heck out of the Atari 2600 Pac-Man. Love that game. Flagpoint Stave writes, I remember getting my Nelsonic joystick watch and having it stolen just a few weeks later. Oh, no! Stolen at school. Still looking for a nice one. If anyone has a lead, we'll pay well. <laughs> now, I had the other Nelsonic Pac-Man watch. It didn't have the joystick. It had the four directional buttons on there. I love that watch. I play Living Daylights out of it. It's a cool thing. They're kind of hard to come by now, especially the joystick version. We have Chuck Kugler. He writes, Playing Pac-Man at the old arcade in my hometown is his favorite memory. Hey, oh, boy. I don't know how I'm almost pronounced this now. Dude, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. <clears throat> Eric Stirrup. I remember playing the cocktail cab as a kid. and also remember buying the cab around 2009. Shame I had to sell it. Ooh, yeah, man, that, that's kind of a bummer. 
I should still have my original Pac-Man I bought. Mm. Nick Brandel writes, My Pac-Man memory is getting the Atari 2600 for Christmas and playing the heck out of the horribly awesome version of Pac-Man. <laughs> yes, but back then, that's all we had, and until the 5200 version came out, it was all we could have. <laughs> or the Atari 8-bit version, I mean. I can't, don't remember if it came out at the same time, the 5200, 800, or not. Don't remember. We also have, for our last entry here, Mr. Kenneth Henning. My Pac-Man memory is receiving the tabletop ColecoVision Pac-Man for Christmas. Oh, yeah. I love that thing. I love this thing. Let's see, there you go. So much so that I purchased it again recently for my collection. I know people find the noise annoying, but I still love it to this day. I don't mind the noise, but boy, my dad didn't like the noise. He snatched that puppy up and modified it pretty quick to put a switch in there. <laughs> and turn it off. <laughs> anyway, so now we got to get to the Wheel of Decision to see who wins. So... I'm going to click on the wheel, and it spins around and around and around and around, and it comes up as Chuck Kugler. Yeah! So I'm going to PM you, Chuck, get your address, and I'll mail this little bad boy off to you. I want to thank everybody for sharing this post around, and also watching the Arcade USA channel. Now, the next giveaway is not going to happen until I reach the 10,000 subscriber limit, but there's something cool for the 10,000 subscriber limit. I'm going to be giving away this nice little Coleco Pac-Man machine, and it, it works. It's got the battery cover. It has a little bit of a decal pin up there, but it does work. This is one I picked up at a flea market some, some time ago. So I think this will be a good 10,000 subscriber giveaway. So as I approach 10,000 subscribers, I'll be making a post announcing this giveaway. So we'll do this all over again. At the rate I'm growing, it'll pop. At the rate I'm growing the channel, it'll probably be probably three years. <laughs> oh well. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching.